Something security tokens to date have been mainly issued on permissioned protocols, whereby let's say the World Bank or so, that at least a number of traditional large institutions have experimented with the space. They've mostly done so in permissioned ledgers, which are really only accessible to a very close loop of participants. And therefore the custody in its own is not really relevant. It's more testing the pipes and plumbing, understanding the infrastructure, and then weighing the benefits versus the costs required from a tech infrastructure perspective from operational models and policies. So to date, we haven't seen too much live um, security tokens to market. I think if you look at the overall markets, there's I think around 1.8, 1.9 trillion is the overall market level of all digital assets that includes cryptocurrencies and NFTs, stable coins and security tokens. I think security tokens are around a billion, if not less. And that's purely um, one way sided systems. Um, one person issues a digital bond to another institution in a very closed loop. We've seen a number of traditional financial service institutions do that. I think at this stage, it's really just to understand um, the benefits as well as the challenges and uh, requirements from an infrastructure and legal perspective. And um, very important also to do so to really help educate regulators um, help overall markets gain uh, to some extent standards. You need technological standards in the market to really make this market grow. Everyone's looking at the competitive edge they have, but you need an underlying infrastructure that can be leveraged by any institutions moving into the space. And I don't think it exists yet. And then also legal and regulatory standards to really help grow the market overall. So I think it will still be a couple of years um, before we see any um, serious adoption of security tokens, but it's something that we are um, close to. We often speak to our clients about it and we want to understand their views um, as to how they want to gain exposure and how we can help them do that.